Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a partition on your Windows 10 operating system on your hard drive. So let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do is you just need to open your folder explorer. So just click on uh, this uh, folder explorer icon and it will open this kind of folder explorer window. Now in here, what you need to do, you just need to right click on this PC option. So this is the this PC option. Just right click on it and then you will see this option which says manage. So just click on manage which is going to open this manage window. Let me just minimize this uh, folder explorer window and maximize this one. Now here under storage you will be able to see disk management. So just select disk management and here you will be able to see all the partitions which are available on your Windows 10 operating system. So in your case also it's most likely that this partition is called C drive. You can also go to your folder explorer and then click on this PC and you can see I only have one local disk drive partition which is called C. Now in order to create a partition on this drive, what you need to do is you just need to right click on this uh, C. In my case, it can be any other drive in your case and then click on shrink volume option. So just click on shrink volume and just wait for some time. And after some time, you will be able to see this window which says shrink and the name of your drive. Now here you will be able to see total size before shrink, uh, size of available shrink space in MB and enter the amount of space to shrink in MB. So you can decide how much uh, space you want to uh, shrink in megabytes. So let's say I would just want to shrink around 10 GB. So I'm going to just write uh, 10,000 here, which is in MB by the way, right? And it's going to shrink around this much amount of space. So it's going to calculate the size after shrink in MB. And now once you have entered this value in megabyte, you just need to click on the shrink option, which is going to create this unallocated partition here. So now I have around 10 GB unallocated space. Now in order to create a new partition using this space what you need to do just select this partition and then just right click on it okay so just select and right click and then click on new simple volume and you will be able to see this kind of wizard here so here just click on next and on the next window you will see uh, specify volume size so we have already specified the volume size so you don't need to change anything here you just need to click on the next button and from here you can assign the following drive letter to your partition so by default it's showing me e drive you can see c and d are already taken on my computer that's why it's not going to uh, show me c and d option but apart from c and d you can choose any other letter so you can see A, B, E, F, G and until Z is available. But by default E letter is assigned and I don't want to change it. So I'm going to just click on next here. And on the next window you will see format partition. So just leave everything as default. NTFS is okay. Allocation unit size is default. And here you can specify any label to your partition. You can see the label for C drive is local disk here. For D drive, DVD drive is the label. So you can define any label for your partition. Let's say I'm going to just name my label as data. Okay. And then I'm going to click on next. And once you are happy with all the settings, you just need to click on the finish option. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a new partition. And now you can see this partition is created and it's healthy primary partition. 
So now once you go to your folder explorer, you can see that this partition is created and we have given the letter E to this partition, right? Now let me show you how you can easily remove this partition if you want to expand your C drive once again. So let's say you are not happy with the space you allocated or for, for some reason you want to delete this partition. So for that, what you need to do, you just need to once again select on the partition you want to delete. Make sure you have the backup of this uh, partition, right? Otherwise, you will lose your data which is available in this partition, right? So just select and then right click and then you have the option to delete the volumes. So just click on delete volume and then you will see this warning which says deleting this volume will erase all the data on it. So you need to back up any data you want to keep before deleting. So as I mentioned, you just need to back up your data. And once you have the backup of your data, just click on yes, which is going to delete the partition, but still you have the unallocated space here, which is 10 GB, right? So now in order to expand your C drive once again and claim this 10 GB in your C drive you just need to click on the c drive here and then this time you need to choose expand volume once you choose expand volume you will once again see this expand volume wizard just click on next here you just need to select this 10 gb option here and then click on next and then click on finish which is going to expand your c drive once again so now i have 99 gb of space once again in my c drive and in the folder explorer also you can see I only have the local disk here okay so this is how you can create a partition in your Windows 10 operating system I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video